Hey guys, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make an effective hand sanitizer using rubbing alcohol. According to the CDC, a hand sanitizer should contain at least 60% isopropyl or rubbing alcohol for it to be effective. And here are my ingredients. Since I'm using 91% alcohol, my measurements are based on that. So if you want it to be at least 60%, you're gonna use two thirds of a cup of um, the rubbing alcohol and then the remaining one third with whatever solution. Or you can use three thirds of a cup, which I'm gonna do, and then the one fourth will be the rest of the other solution. Here is my one fourth measuring cup and I'm gonna pour in three of it so that I'll have three fourth of a cup of this rubbing alcohol. Since rubbing alcohol is pretty drying to the hands or the skin, I am adding in a little bit of distilled water as well as vegetable glycerin. So I'm going to use this one fourth of the cup to add half water and half vegetable um, glycerin and then add it in the rubbing alcohol. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a few drops of essential oils and I am using lavender oil and tea tree oil. Now, once everything is in this container, I just go ahead and stir, stir, stir. It is now time to transfer this in my little spray bottle. And this bottle is so convenient, it can fit in any purse, school bags, or even your pocket. This hand sanitizer is not only easy to make, but it is relatively cheap, very convenient, smells good, doesn't dry out your hands. I just love this. Just put it in my purse, give one to my daughter to take with her when she goes to school. I like to store the remaining of it in a bottle so that we can refill as needed. Hope this video was informative. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Also share and subscribe for more content on health and beauty the natural way. Hope you have a blessed day and I hope to catch you on my next video.